Welcome to Cotton Candy Corner. Today I'm building a safari diorama. We have plants and trees. We have a rock formation and waterfall. We have another rock formation. This one is a cave. Animal care center. Here is a ranger hut. And look, it has a door and the rangers go inside. They take care of the animals. Let's add the ranger station to the safari diorama. The watering hole, the animal care center, the ranger station, and a waterfall. Now all we need is the animals. Look at the snake. It's a rattlesnake, and here is its rattle. What's this coming towards the watering hole? It's a crocodile. Crocodiles can live to be between 50 and 75 years. Let's open the mouth. Oh, look at this crocodile. There he goes into the water. He's going for a swim. Crocodiles in captivity have been known to live for 100 years. Wow, that's as old as your grandma or grandpa. This crocodile caught a fish. Mmm, dinner. The earliest crocodilian lived around 95 million years ago. Wow, that's a long time ago. And that was 30 million years before dinosaurs went extinct. Crocodile. There he goes, swimming in the water. Here comes the safari ranger in his jeep. He also is carrying something in the trailer. Oh, it's a Komodo dragon. Let's open the ramp and take out the Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons are actually lizards. Komodo dragons are the largest, heaviest lizard in the world. They are in the class of Reptilia, Komodo dragon. There goes the Komodo dragon. I think he's looking for food in that cave. Hmm, I wonder if he'll find any. And look, in the ranger station, it's a park ranger. He's looking after all the animals. And look, what do we see? Oh, it's a snake. I think the snake is looking for a drink of water in the watering hole. Wow, look how long that snake is. Here comes another park ranger in the safari vehicle. Look, on top of the safari vehicle, what is it? I see a long tail. Let's have a look. It's a kangaroo. It looks like the kangaroo has hopped on top of the safari vehicle. Hop, 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 hop. The kangaroo has a pouch near its tummy so that it can carry its baby. What's this? It's an aardvark. What's it doing out? Aardvarks are most active at night. The aardvark gets its name from a South African word meaning earth pig. Although the aardvark looks like a pig, its body and snout are actually common ancestors with the elephant and golden moles. Here comes another animal into the safari diorama. It's a Bactrian camel. And look, there are two humps on this camel's back. The humps don't contain water, but they contain fat, which the camel can break down and use for energy. When food is scarce, camels will break down fats in their humps as a source of nutrition.
lucky day for this camel as it found a source of water to drink. Bactrian camel. Here comes another snake. This is a king cobra. This reptile makes its home in forests and swamps. An interesting fact about cobras is the king cobra can reach 18 feet in length. Look over there, behind the rock. It's a centipede. There are over 8,000 species of centipedes. Paleontologists have found fossils of centipedes that are over 400 million years old. And up on the rock, I found a smooth green snake. Smooth green snakes are non-venomous. They are known for their vibrant color and they're not a threat to humans. Here comes another snake. This is a boa constrictor. They're a heavy bodied snake. They live in the tropical climates throughout most of Central and South America. Look at the park ranger. They're watching over all of the animals to make sure that they are healthy and live in a clean environment. Look over there, on the rocks, it's a giant panda. Pandas mainly live in temperate forests high in the mountains where they live mostly on bamboo. A newborn panda is about the size of a stick of butter. The mother can weigh up to 200 pounds, while the father can weigh up to 300 pounds. Giant pandas are from Asia. What's this? It's a white tiger. They have blue eyes, rose pink noses, and light brown stripes. These tigers stand out from the rust-colored peers, or Bengal tigers. India has over half the world's population of tigers. Did you know that tigers have been around for over 2 million years? Tigers are very strong and fierce hunters. Tigers are found in the wild parts of Russia, China, and South and Southeast Asia. They live in forests, grasslands, and swamps. Here comes a moose. Wow, you can find many of these moose in North America, like Canada. And look, moose are ungulates. Ungulates refer to any animal having hoofs. Here are the moose antlers. And look, it looks like it has a beard. <laughs> moose tend to live near water, such as lakes, muskegs, and streams of the boreal forests. I bet you know what this animal is. If you guessed a giraffe, you're right. Giraffes come from Africa. They have very long necks and long legs. Giraffes are actually the tallest land animal in existence. They can be 18 foot in height. Here comes a hippopotamus. They are very strong swimmers. They are also herbivores, meaning they eat plants. There are two species of hippopotamus. They are the third largest mammals on Earth. Aw, look, there's a baby hippopotamus in the water with its mother. Gorilla encounters are the ultimate wildlife experience. Uganda is home to half of the world's mountain gorilla population. You can see mountain gorillas in Rwanda. It's very accessible. There are about a thousand gorillas there in the wild. 
Look over by the waterfall. I see a rhinoceros. It's an Indian rhinoceros. They only have one horn compared to the two horns of the African rhinoceros. On the rock, there is a snow leopard. Snow leopards come from Central and South Asia. It's a bison. Bison used to roam the prairies of Canada. A black bear. Ah, look near the park ranger. It's a panda bear. They're from Australia. Thanks for watching Cotton Candy Corner with all my animals from around the world. See you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Cotton Candy Corner. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye!